Hello everyone, it's time for year 2 science lesson. Today's topic is conductors and insulators. Let's go! Alright boys and girls, in our previous lesson, we have learned that the bulb will light up when the switch is closed because the electric current flows in a complete circuit. What happens to the bulb if the switch is replaced with other objects or materials? Let's bring us to our next investigation, replacement switch. Let's investigate. Let's do this. If you are looking for more information about this investigation, you may refer to your Science Year 2 textbook, page 81 until 83. Now, let us look at the apparatus and materials for this investigation. First, we need bulb, dry cell, connecting wires, rubber, paper clip, metal spoon, handkerchief, straw, ice cream sticks, coins, and glass rod. But for this investigation, I don't have glass rod with me here, so I replace it with glass. Just an ordinary drinking glass because it is the same material with the glass rod. This is how a normal electric circuit looks like. We use switch to complete or to break an electric circuit. Now I'm going to remove the switch and test every object in the circuit. We are going to find out which of these objects can be used as switch replacement. In the meantime, observe the bulb. Look whether the bulb lights up or the bulb does not light up. Later, you are going to record your observation in the table. Rubber Paper clip Straw glass metal spoon Ice cream stick Handkerchief Before you record your observation in the table, I will explain to you what is a conductor and what is an insulator. Let us read this together. I am a paper clip. I allow electric current to flow through me because I am a conductor. I am a rubber. I don't allow electric current to flow through me because I am an insulator. So, from this, you should understand a conductor is a material that allows electric current to flow through it. Meanwhile, an insulator is a material that does not allow electric current to flow through it. 
I hope you know the differences between con a conductor and insulator. To record your observation, please draw a table in your science exercise book. You may refer to this slide. Or you may refer to your textbook in page 82. Don't worry, I will help you to record the observation using this table. Make sure you are going to copy this table neatly in your exercise book. These are the results from the observation. I will explain to you one by one. First object is rubber. We have replaced the switch with rubber. What happened to the bulb? Bulb does not light up. It means that rubber does not allow electric current flows through it. So rubber is insulator. Remember, insulator does not allow electric current flows through it. Second object, paper clip. What happened to the bulb? Bulb lights up. So paper clip is a conductor because it allows electric current flows through it. Third object, straw. What happened to the bulb? Bulb does not light up. Straw is an insulator. Number four, glass. What happened to the bulbs? Bulb does not light up. Glass is an insulator. Metal spoon. Bulb lights up. Metal spoon is a conductor. Ice cream stick. What happened to the bulb? Bulb does not light up. So, ice cream stick is an insulator. Handkerchief. Bulb does not light up. Handkerchief is an insulator also. Finally, coin. What happened to the bulb when we, re when we replace the switch with a coin? Bulb lights up. So, coin is a conductor. I want you to copy this table in your exercise book and also copy the three questions that follows. Number one, object that can light up the bulb, paper clip, metal spoon, and coin. Number two, objects that can replace the switch to light up the bulb, paper clip, metal spoon, coin. Objects that cannot replace the switch to light up the bulb rubber, straw, glass, ice cream stick, and handkerchief. Easy, isn't it? Alright boys and girls, after we have done the investigation, can you state two other examples of conductors and insulators? Leave your answer in the comment section below. I am looking forward to your answer. Another one. For your next activity, please get ready with your science activity book and turn to page 51 and 52. In page 51, you will find this activity, Identifying Conductors and Insulators. Apparatus and materials that we need for this investigation are Pops, Pop Holder, Connecting Wires, Dry Cell Holder, and Dry Cell. Objects to be tested are Paper Cup, Nail, Plastic Container, and Paper Clip. So basically, these are the same materials that we use in our previous investigation now let us look at step one build a complete circuit and replace the switch with objects to be tested such as in the diagram below step two color the bulb that lights up in red and the bulb that does not light up in blue so this is a very simple um, activity for you all you need to do is whenever the light the bulb lights up you color in red if the bulb does not light up, you will have to color the bulb in blue. Let us look at circuit A here. It is tested with paper cup. So, do you think the bulb will light up? No, isn't it? The bulb does not light up. So, you color the bulb in blue. Circuit B. Tested with nail. Do you think the bulb will light up? Yes, isn't it? So you will have to color the bulb in red. For circuit C and circuit D, you have to do it on 
video on all right now let's proceed to page 52 conductors and insulators for this activity you may find the answers in your science textbook page 81 until 83 please refer to that pages in order to answer these questions we are given with one and two questions here question one divided to four other sections question 1a question 1b question 1c and question 1d please complete all of this question all right everyone that's about it for today's lesson i hope to see you in the next lesson in our next video till then stay safe and bye bye